get over that. Okay, are you, are you following? Mm -hmm. So your goal is two things. One, mine enough minerals to build another nexus. Not in your natural, never in your natural. I've even seen pros do it in their natural. It's the stupidest thing to do in the world. If you put a nexus in your natural, they can inch their cannons from your main base and hit you from the high ground. It's really stupid. So don't take it in your natural, don't take it in your third. On this base, ah oh man, you have to go even lower to the ground if you take that top right base. But maybe that top right base or maybe one of the middle bases in the middle of the map. Um, but build up, so, so goal one is build up, or maybe goal two, I don't know, whatever. We won't number them. Goal A <laughs> is build up 400 minerals to build another nexus. But while you're doing this, or, or build it up before your nexus dies, because obviously you don't need 400 and then keep 400. You just need 400 by the time your nexus is dead. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. then you can't mine anymore. Um, but goal B, all while this is happening, is make as many stalkers as possible. Because stalkers can four-shot his probe. So if you can four-shot his probe and not lose your stalker and then stop his cannon production, it may slow down how quickly he kills your nexus. It may slow down his threat for his follow-up cannon, because you're going to be taking a Nexus in the middle of the map, he's probably going to try and cannon you again. Um, it, it's just going to help. But even more so, you can go to his side of the map, your very first stalker, and probably stop him from mining. Now, if he's smart, he'll already have a pylon either at the ramp or um, at his Nexus, and he'll put a cannon... Uh, in his mineral line, but still, even in that scenario, you can go to, like, the other side of his mineral line, be out of range of the cannon, but in the range of a few probes, and there's a couple mineral patches he can't mine off of. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And players are never going to micro perfectly. Almost never. Like, you know, unless they're, like, Korean superstars. Um, so, they're going to accidentally let workers, like, the AI of the workers go back to that mineral patch, and you're going to get a couple kills with the stalker. Um, if they do have a pylon already at, their ramp, at your ramp, and they see that you're building stalkers, they're going to be like, oh, fuck, I need to go finish the wall off and then build a cannon behind it. Now, in this situation, um, it depends on when you reached it. Because if you go there and the cannon's building, you can, you might be able to do enough damage to it so he has to cancel it before he... before it finishes. Well, obviously, you can't cancel it when it finishes. Um, but hopefully, best case scenario, you get in before he fully pylon walls it off. Because even if he puts a cannon at his ramp, as long as you get one stalker in his main base, you can camp at his mineral line and force him to not mine for quite a while. Or, you know what I mean, not mine little sections. Um, also, yeah. the, once you do get two or three stalkers, you can kill cannons one at a time. Not two at a time. It's Even if you have, like, godlike micro, you're going to take way too much damage. Well, one at a time... You know what? It shoots you three times, four times. Your shield goes down, and you back up that stalker. Uh, cannons have the same range as, as stalkers, I think. Six, pop no, no, six, six, because in the Wings of Liberty beta, they made Void Rays have seven range, so they could outrange static defense. That was a lot of fun. That was literally like mass Void Rays on one base, and especially against Zerg, because Hydras suck. Or they did, they did back then. They're okay now, but yeah. It's like, oh, you built spore crawlers? Lol. I can shoot them without taking damage. Anyway, that was stupid and unbalanced. Um, yeah. So with proper micro, you can kill the cannons. And possibly save your nexus, but probably not, because three stalkers are going to take a long time to build. Um, what you're aiming for is to stop his mining at his base with the first stalker. Make as many stalkers as possible to, one, kill workers that are like trying to cannon your second base. Um, and two, you are going to eventually... Well, not necessarily. You aren't necessarily going to clean up his pylons, but um, it all depends. If you somehow save your nexus, yeah, you can. But you get, like, say you get, so, so let's say this is the best case scenario. Your first stalker you sent across the map, you're delaying some of his mining, because he has a cannon and half of his mineral line, and he walled off his main base, so you're not going to get any more stalkers up there. You get two more stalkers, you save up to 400 minerals, he, um, you send a worker out and start your base in the middle of the map, and you keep mining until the Nexus dies, and then you send them to the new base. Um, you need to always have a worker patrolling around your new Nexus, because they're going to try and cannon you again. Because, like, you know, your cheese failed, so cheese again. Um, and, the, and the reason why you want as many stalkers as possible early, uh, especially the first one delaying his shit, because he very well can get a gateway, Cybernex Core, and start Warp Gate Tech before you, even though he cannoned the shit out of you, um, because your shit's going to be delayed. 
Um, if you, for some reason, and, and this might change where you want to put your Cybernex Core, you know? Like, this is why a lot of pros put it behind their mineral line. But if you, for some reason, put your Cybernex Core initially behind your mineral line, and you get the Stalkers out, and then you kill his worker, so his workers, like, his cannons are killing your Nexus, your Nexus is going to die, but he can't put any more cannons up, you might be able to get Warp Gate Tech researched from your original Cybernex Core. You know what I'm saying? Which is, like, a big deal. Like, if you have Warp Gate Tech then all you need to wait for is 60 more seconds to build more gateways, and you can foregate the shit out of him. And then what's one cannon going to do at the top of his ramp, you know, against a foregate? It's gonna, not going to do shit. It's going to kill one Zell and then die. Like, so that's important. Um, yeah. So I think that's the best way to hold it. Just know that your shit's going to die. Um, now, if you scout it really early, like before any cannons are done, and you pull workers, like, like say he's got a cannon on the low ground building with a pylon on the low ground, and then he puts a pylon on the high ground. Well, you scouted it, and you're chasing his worker, and he puts a pylon on the high ground. Um, pylons on the low ground can't power stuff to the high ground anymore. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So he I needs that pylon. That one, yeah, yeah, that was dirty. So he needs that pylon to finish to build cannons, so you do whatever the fuck you have to. Even if you have to pull every single worker... Kill that worker before he the uh, the pylon finishes. Now, don't kill the pylon because if you sit there trying to kill the pylon, the cannon on the low ground is going to finish and going to start killing your workers, shooting the high ground. Um, also, even though I just said even if you have to pull all workers, do what you have to. I slightly take that back because you do want some mineral income, and also you probably want to have a couple workers at the ramp. Because whenever anything goes haywire or, like, things are looking dicey for them, they're going to send multiple workers. Like, they're going to continue the rush. They're committing to this rush. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you need to stop them or get a lot of damage on them once they even, and like, go up your ramp. So, so it's, like, it's kind of hard because you have to micro to kill his worker, right? You have to have a couple chasing him. And then if he's turning a corner, you have to... Or, like, say he's heading towards a dead end and... Say so he's heading upward in your main base to a dead end, and you just, your probes are chasing him going up and to the right, so they're from the bottom left. So naturally, he's going to take a right turn from where he's running. So you run a few workers ahead of him, and then A move, or, or you know what I mean, straight to the right, so that when he does take the right turn and goes downward, you A move and you get a few more hits off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just natural micro of the same speed units, but you have more of them. Um, you got to be doing that while keeping an eye on the probes you sent to your ramp. Because probes aren't like normal offensive units. You can't just patrol them and they'll attack any enemy unit that comes in range. Uh, you'll actually need to grab them and A-move them at your natural ramp. You know what I'm saying? To kill the new worker that was just sent. So it's kind of hard. You have to kind of keep an eye on it. But that is 100% best case scenario. If you, like, kill his worker before he gets anything on your high ground, stop him from putting sending more workers up, and, like, maybe even get to the point where you're somewhat comfortable and you can build two pylons at the top of your ramp, <clears throat> and if he does send a third worker, or like a fourth or whatever, you just quickly build the third pylon and he can't get in your main base. You know what I'm saying? A full wall off at the last second. Mm -hmm. um, that's totally best case scenario, because this cannon rush 100% failed, and he can't build more cannons that can kill your buildings. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. That was, a l that was two explanations, and they were both kind of long. Do you want to go through them again with me, and I can, you know, make sure any you got like you got everything right, or 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 what what it what? I think I got it. I don't believe you. I mean, I mean, <laughs> do you want me to like try to recite to you what? You yeah, said? yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Where do you want me to start? Just the 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 first explanation I said against the the cannoning, um, and just just hit the hit the major points. You don't have to like give a full explanation. Okay, is that I've got to work on two things: getting 400 minerals for Nexus and constantly building stalkers, so that if he's attacking my Nexus or if he gets in range to start attacking my Nexus, I can move to another base, which is not my natural or my third, <laughs> yes, or fourth rather, and then take that base and if I build stalkers, if I constantly build stalkers then I can either take out his, or I can take out his probes so that he can't start cannoning my other base and so that I can start slowly chipping away at cannons. And the other one would be to, if I see him starting the cannon on the low ground, 
then I can attack the probe that's building the pile on the high ground while having another probe at the main ramp defending against extra probes that would come in to try to build another. <laughs> oh, yeah, ramp. yeah. For the one, but for the defense without stalkers, or before stalkers. Mm -hmm. Yes. But don't attack the pylon itself, just kill the probes. Yes. So, yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, those were the main points of, of both defenses. Um, you know, it, it feels bad. You know, it feels horrible. It feels like, ugh, I just lost my nexus, Jesus Christ. But <clears throat> if you did it well, like, like the first defense, because the second defense, you basically won. Um, you know, still play well, still, like, pretend like it's an even game, because you might be like, oh, I'm ahead, herp derp, and then he'll, he'll like, ha have five quick units or something. Um, but you basically have won. But with the first defense, the stalkers and stuff, it feels bad, and et cetera, et cetera. But think about it, like, from the bright side, especially, like, best case scenario, you're, like, harassing him, you're gonna get warpy tech before him, guaranteed, 100% guaranteed, because you have that shit building behind your mirror line in your main. Um, and you saved 20 workers. And even though they're going to have a little bit of time of not mining, that's okay. Oh, here's one trick. Um, shit, man, I feel like i got to write all this down for you. This is so much stuff. Like, this is a lot of information. I've been talking for like two hours straight. I'm sorry. But, um... <clears throat> have you? I mean, how long has it been? I can check Facebook I... to see when I posted it. I have no idea. But it's like 6.30, dude. You said something about you don't whatever until after 4, and I was like 4.30. I don't, 4 .30 I don't or know. 4.40. I got home around... Oh, okay, then, then oh, oh, not two hours, but close, or an hour and a half. Okay, um, a trick I like to do is a lot of times your nexus is going to die before your second nexus is finished. Even by the time your workers reach your second nexus, it might not be finished. I'll right-click on the mineral patch and then shift right-click to the nexus, and then you'll have however many workers, 20, however many you have, all with a mineral already in their mouth, all already up against the nexus. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So the moment the Nexus finishes, you just hit the return mineral button. Like, you highlight them all and hit C as the hotkey. And bam, you already have, like, a couple hundred minerals mining. Like, mined. You know what I'm saying? Just a small trick to get your mining a little bit going a little bit quicker. Um, mm -hmm. Speaking of tricks, there's one thing I somewhat left out, but it's kind of okay. Like, it's, 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 it's not like I forgot it and then remembered it 30 minutes later. Um... Players know this, you know. I'm not some great player or anything, you know. I'm not the cream of the crop, you know. Everyone knows this. Or not everyone, but sorry, that was stupid. A lot of players know this. A lot of Diamond players, a lot of Masters players, they know almost everything I just told you. So they're going to think of ways to try and stop you. And one common way is with a second or third worker, or even with their first worker, they're like, fuck, I, I'm, I'm killing his Nexus with two cannons. I don't need to keep my work over here. I'm going to go do something else. They will actually wall off your main on the high ground. They will put two pylons there, and when you send your workers out to go to your new base, they'll put a third one. They may even start, they may even start cannons there, um, because they know you're so calmly just mining and not leaving the game yet. Um, so you probably have a plan, and that, and that plan is probably make another nexus, because it's common. So they're going to stop you from sending your workers out. If you have your workers stuck in your main base, then like it was basically all for naught. You know, you're going to start with a new nexus and no workers. Um, so unless you went across the map with a stalker and killed him, <laughs> then you're dead. So they'll do that. So you have to keep your eye on that. Keep keep a worker patrolling over there. Maybe even keep your stalker over there. And, and that's what I like to do with the second stalker, is send him to my ramp. Because worst case scenario, he already got it finished, the three pylons. But I'll just kill his worker, kill whatever cannon he may have started over there, hopefully kill it. I'll, I, mean, I might have to pull a few workers, but not a big deal. Four workers and, his, and a stalker will murder a cannon before it's finished. And then just start working on the, the third pylon in the wall end. You only have to kill one pylon. But just keep that in mind. I know we're going over 50 million things in this session. Maybe I should have broken up into two. But that's something you have to keep in mind in that scenario. He may wall you off and you may be fucked. And you may have to stop it from happening. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's, that's a big thing. That happens a lot. Are, so are you familiar with any of this? Like, have, you, have you seen any of this? Been in any of the scenarios with cannon rushes and stuff? I've been in scenarios with cannon rushes, but they never really go well for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, have you ever tried to take a new Nexus? No. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems icky, you know? It seems... It's same with, like, against the Voyager all-in, just kind of saying, okay, I'm going to lose everything, I'm going to send these two stalkers across the map and Chrono Boost 
like as many stalkers as I can.